Welcome to a very special episode of Fireteam Chat. I'm your host, Destin Legary. Joining me today is CJ Gibson. What's up? Fran Mirabella. Hey, Guardians. And PC Duggan. Hello. And the reason the show is special is because Duggan is here to all talk you about- You can stop there, because Duggan is here. That's what this is. <laughs> That's talk it. Talk about the PC version of Destiny 2. Yeah. We saw it. I've got to watch the footage, and oh my god, it looks so good. Embargo's up. Yeah, embargo is up. We're going to get actually right into it. Duggan, let's talk yeah, about yeah. the visual fidelity of the PC mm. version. Wow. It looks really good. It looks really good. Uh, wow. It looks really good. Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and oh, wow. <laughs> Owen Wilson, wow. Uh, it looks really good. It feels really good. Uh, in terms of performance, and obviously people are going to pick this apart like crazy as soon as the game is live uh, tomorrow, if you're watching this as soon as it goes up. Um, it, it looks amazing. It runs uncapped. Uh, if you have V-Sync on, you can run it at 30. I don't know why you would. Uh, maybe, I guess, <laughs> if you have a lower-end rig. Or you can run it at 60, uh, and that obviously locks the frame rate, but keeps V-Sync on. And with this V-Sync, I feel there's a very low input latency compared to some other games, mm. other shooters where you turn on V-Sync and just immediately you're like, oh, turning that off. Yeah. Well, hold up. Let's talk about that 30 frames per second thing. Sure. Uh, one thing they did reconfirm is that Xbox One X 30. So yes. all consoles will be at 30. Yes. They well, they reconfirmed it by dodging the question real hard. We had a we <laughs> had a, a round table with the developers, um, and uh, actually the, the developers who were working expressly on the PC port and obviously collaborating with the main destiny team. Um, but there was a question asked about Xbox One X, and now that they have all these optimizations that they've done for the PC version, yeah. uh, made it run at Reasonable 60. Reasonable question. Yeah, yeah, all these things, if that is going to somehow change because the Xbox One X is above their minimum recommended requirements for running Destiny 2 on PC. Mm -hmm. So, will we see it at 60 FPS? Probably not in the near future. They said we have nothing to announce at that time, at this time. So, um, it, that's yeah. how they dodged the question. It was basically like, can, it seems like you can get it running at 60. Are you going to do it? And they were like, we have yeah, nothing PR to Yeah, PR guys stepped this in, time. stepped in, uh, in front of hey, the I'm panel. Drew. And they were no. like, hey, everybody, <laughs> that's going to be a negative. Uh, well, they didn't say no. They didn't say flat out no. They just said we had nothing to announce at this time. Right. So the assumption Why that right, boiler, boiler. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, sorry. I did not expect any news. I'm just, I'm still bummed that they can't just kind of come out and clarify it. It's such a touchy subject. It's going to run at 30. They've said yeah. it multiple but, times. But yeah. there are other factors. You can't have that system running at 60 playing against people at 30, but like they don't want to talk about it. I think it makes it very challenging. He threw a firecracker anyway. when we asked. He was like, <laughs> look at that, look at that, look at that. Exactly. A flashbang oh. out the door. So, okay. So yeah, so back to the performance and the way it feels on PC. The mouse and keyboard feels superb. Um, the only thing that does not seem like it was changed for the PC version is the map, which mm -hmm. As soon as you, the way that you move the map is by bringing the cursor up to the top and it slowly drags up. It's uh, like very unintuitive. Everything else, I have nothing but positive things to say uh, in terms of the way it looks and feels. I thought um, it, mm. it runs obviously very well. Uh, you mistakenly use hand cannons for the majority of your capture. So I'm claiming it right here, right now. Let's cut to my single. <laughs> okay. Hand cannon meta for the PC. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be heard. hand cannon SMG. Still? Uh, and if you think I'm crazy and people are going to be using Mida, just wait. No, I could be wrong. No, this but, dude, I've heard this a number of times. Fair. Everybody said because I didn't get a chance to play the multiplayer PC beta, and they're like, you know, Minuet Devils, yep. uh, Better Devils is destroying, and I'm like, that is not the case in the console beta or for yeah. the console game. Yeah, for that so it is weird it's because footage. I did see the footage. Doug yeah. is pretty good at PC games, though. And the beta, the beta was kind of like that, which I remember having yeah. the hand cannon conversation super early in Destiny 2's release, and I was like, they're pretty good. I was remembering the PC beta, I think. I know. I didn't know that that was going to keep, though, so that's great news. Yeah, I did. think people are thirsty so to use why, those So why is that, though? Boy, I wish your... I could answer, because it's not like the damage fall-off numbers are different. In fact, I asked expressly, will weapons be tuned for the PC version in the way anybody who plays Overwatch knows that, like, um, Torbjorn is weaker in... Sure, it's an Overwatch reference. That's why it was... It's not a gas tank. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> anybody who plays Torbjorn on the console version knows that his turrets are weaker because it's uh, much harder to do like a quick 180 snap and see a turret and shoot it. So the fact that that has auto aim um, gives it a big advantage on console. But they, they said they want one game. Uh, and so basically the answer was leaning towards no. Uh, and certainly everything in the game right now, the only stats that uh, you're not going to be seeing, the hidden stat, the aim assist stat for weapons, and then secondarily, uh, the recoil is much lower across all weapons unless you plug in a controller, in which case it reverts that recoil number back up and gives you the aim assist, which is unchanged from beta. Uh, mm -hmm. Which is a, a big thing that people will want to talk about and know more about, but we'll get into that later. Yeah. Uh, let's focus on the po positives, though, which are... It looks and feels superb on a mouse and keyboard. I, I played it, uh, except when I plugged it in a controller to see if there was still aim assist. I played it all on mouse and keyboard. I, it felt great. Um, there was no awkward 
Nothing felt awkward about it, and they did a really good job. The developers were saying that they went back to the drawing board with the control scheme. They tried to do this kind of like lazy port from the controller over to mouse and keyboard, and it didn't feel good. Mm. So they spent months and months and months refining the way it looked and field, um, felt you, to, to play on PC. You played the beta. I mean, does it feel different? Or in other words, like it already felt great. It already the felt beta. great, yeah. Did you have a new impression, though, where you're like... It, or are you just saying it uh, still felt My great? new impression, I guess, was like trying some of the abilities I didn't get to try in the beta, playing on the maps I didn't, uh, and then just mobbing around the open world and doing whatever I wanted, whether it was summoning my sparrow and, and yeah. flying off or it, whatever. Mm -hmm. It all felt very good. Yeah, and having played so much of Destiny 2 now, which is very different yes. than when we were playing it before. Well, so. Let's talk about rigs, because I have a, a Ryzen CPU build yeah, yeah. with a, a Titan. And Boy, if you I... You have an Intel. You played on an Intel yes, rig. Yes, I played on an Intel. Yeah. It was an i7... Yeah. 7700 mm -hmm. something. Anyway. Yeah. DX Diag uh, probably in your preview. Yeah, it was a very good rig. Uh, I did the yeah, I did the run DX Diag and they were running on a 1080 Ti and it was running at times at 170 nice. frames per second that with VSync um, turned nice. off. 1080p? Uh, 4K. 4K and it was running at But that was like Jeez. menus. With VSync oh, okay. off, okay. Yeah, <laughs> did you get pairing at all? Uh, I really didn't notice it, but when you're up in the 140, 50 category, Things I think it's chop much harder. Around so fast. Yeah. In fact, like I have a clip. I, I think I recorded it. Maybe I can dig it up for uh, when this gets edited. But I was like, I'm going to play like this. And I was shaking my mouse around. <laughs> yeah. And I can uh, still see everything because the uh, FPS was so high. Yeah. Um, so I was really impressed with the port. In fact, kind of calling it a port is a little bit of a dirty word. Uh, on that front, it was great. There were some negatives, though. Mm. Uh, and they were kind of mind-boggling from somebody who has oh. a history. Mm. Destiny 2 mm. is gorgeous mm. on PC. Negative talk time. Comma, but... <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> There's some things that you should know. Uh, and, and the first thing that I want to talk about is the chat. So text mm. chat ah, is obviously yes. something that you cannot do unless you get that weird peripheral mm -hmm. for the Xbox, which I don't even mm -hmm. know yeah, exists. Yeah, yeah. Or you so, just type it in. Like quick like, in-game right. chat. So you would imagine, uh, as somebody who's played, can't not say it... <laughs> World of Warcraft, oh, uh, a lot. Um, I played World of Warcraft there it is. for the first time the oh, other great. day. It's like <laughs> or PUBG. I, I feel or, like I've played sure. that game a lot. And many any, of the yeah. thousands of other PUBG games out chat. there. That any kind of social space, <laughs> well, it has open mics, but any yeah. kind of social space, uh, Baron's chat is infamous, uh, chatting in a city, um, linking your gear, people spamming guild recruitments, things like that. You will be blown away to know that there is not only no general chat in the text, uh, but in the build I played and probably for the launch build, there's also no clan chat, which seems like a huge missed opportunity, especially the latter. They had good reasons to uh, omit a general chat, but I think the trade-off there is not worth what you stand to gain because there's this whole joke about the friend game and how it's an avenue through which to, to connect with players, to emergently meet these players, and to then befriend them and, and forge a lifelong connection where you're going to be playing all these different games together. But how do I do that? However, What's the workflow for that? You said there is a whisper thing you can opt in. So yes, you can go into your settings and you can change your whispers. You have to go in and toggle your whispers on so you can receive whispers from people who are not... Uh, in your friends list or in your clan. And secondarily to that, you actually have to hit enter to bring up the chat window. We can be in a fire team and I can be like, Destin, move, you're going to die. And you will not see it unless you hit enter. It will oh. blip a little bit in the bottom right-hand corner. Mm -hmm. But again, it's the whole minimal oh. HUD thing. So um, You can't set it to on? Maybe you can. I didn't check that, but <laughs> right. I didn't you see You also that. have to enter your Wii friend code. So, part of that. <laughs> so yeah, so the, huh. the question is, how do you go about making friends? And, and when I talked to Deej about it, he uh, obviously, he thought I was being sarcastic initially when I mm. said, uh, I can't believe this game has no general chat. It seems like a missed opportunity. Um, and as somebody who's a community manager and obviously dealing with a lot of, a lot of negative in player yeah. interactions, I understand that context. But I think for every one negative player interaction that happens, I do think that there are missed opportunities for mm -hmm. people to be doing the core of Destiny, which is this emergent shared world. I see somebody, I want to be their friend or be in their group. Uh, I would have to approach them, figure out their username, type it in. Uh, before they fly away. So the, and so the way it works right now on Xbox and yeah. PlayStation is you find somebody in the open world, you select their name, you send Interact. them a message via that platform. That yeah. functionality didn't exist yeah, like you, on PC? You can't like just click on a character? You know, I'm not sure about that. Uh, right. I think you have to slash W. Uh, it does obviously interface with battle.net. Um, it may be as simple as going up and yeah, getting, maybe the a prompt tactile stuff. But even then, you're sending but requests, and it's, it's not... Yeah, but in any but instance, it's a missed is opportunity general for the chat It's not should open. should be implemented. General chat should be implemented, and absolutely, clan chat needs to be implemented. 
You know, yeah, that, so, that one's a little crazy. So here's the thing. I mean, now I'm playing a lot. I mean, right now on console, I want to switch to PC. I use Discord a lot too. I don't know. If Please join our Discord. I'm going to leave the in the exactly. comments. Join last week it was our Fire Team comment. Chat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, on but YouTube. If you're in the IGN clan, you better respond again. So the- <laughs> I'm looking for you. It's okay. It's just hard to get a hold of everybody. To James' point. Yeah. So, but but, but I mean, so, so for that though, like I've been using Discord a lot. I mean, I don't know if you guys do, but it's it kind of it seems odd to not have that maybe directly in the game. But for the most part, this device is right here on your body all the time. Like, do you not? Like, could you True. see yourself using that more so than Discord, for instance? Uh, the clan chat? Yeah, it was Absolutely. implemented. I mean, it's not, in the game, not for, so. It's, well, the... It would be, is what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. So, like, well, clan chat not being in the game is kind of crazy f- to me, because, like, so that when, is a staple of MMO, right. just on PC. And when we asked the developers that question, they very much kind of leaned towards, yes, it will be coming. Mm. Uh, the uh, answer there was mm. a lot less like, we're worried about interactions. It was much more like, hey, this is coming, and, and it was it's almost a like a, a look like... Oh man, that's not. Can we talk about that? I don't know. (laughs) It's like, hey guys, meeting right after this. By the way, Uh, we need to Mm. talk about clan chat. But um, so it's a bummer to see that that was not in the build that I played. Hopefully, it'll make it in for launch uh, because certainly, at the very least, it could be like, hey, Destin, get on Discord, even if there's no avenue through voice communication. Which is that's how you have to do it. Yeah, and then when we've got a solution for that too. (laughs) Yeah, there is a Discord solution, except they did that thing where you have to run in windowed mode if you want to also like use some of the Discord functionality, which is unfortunate. That's plugin stuff and all, but like meaning you can still use Discord on your desktop. Yeah, you can. Which a lot of people do, but yeah, I think it's a little unfortunate that they restricted it to the point that you can't use. That yeah, service. in-game yeah. chat would have been cool. I actually, like, I haven't really played uh, much of WoW. So they added all these features of linking to gear and stuff, and yeah. that's where Even I would have been Battle excited. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, if you're playing World of Warcraft, I can link you through Battle.net the exactly. fact that I got... Mm-hmm. Mida, like I would love to like just hey let's play link to my profile uh, or just linking to gear what is that and it's this or yeah. pull up KD of people right. stuff like that would have been really nice to have On right friend, there friend. in so the what, game what you can do <laughs> is you can Bam. talk to your fire team you can whisper people and then you can talk to just your team so if you join a crucible match um, you can just Titan. slash team and then type to your team hey guys WTF are you doing I hate you all is blah blah a, blah <laughs> talk that's to not, talk not a whisper team shot so just that's not one of my right. Oh, so everybody will see <laughs> team <laughs> chat just for your own team. Again, you have to hit enter. So I would have to Ugh. stop what I'm doing, hit enter, get headshot, and be like, oh, well, I'm happy to see that, you know, you you have to take a bio break. You hit enter like, first is what you said. You have to hit enter, I believe, to see the chat come up. There, there has be to be a way that you could leave that it. That enables it. I see. There has to be a way you can leave it. Anyway, up. there's work to be done there. There's work to be so. done. Certainly clan chat, w- I would assume, would be added and, and should be added. Uh, and I, again, I think that we'll see a gut wrench reaction from the community about general chat. Uh, obviously, there's yeah, some Blizzard games. I think they're going to be real level-headed and like talk about it constructively. Sure. And, uh, it, just like the Reddit. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Positive <laughs> solution. I mean, D- Discord is pretty ingrained in Destiny's DNA, though. Right now, there's a lot of people I know that interact with people. But it'd be interesting because I don't know what the PC space Discord's is like. So, yeah, it is yeah. really yeah. good. But Yeah, and, and uh, I think the other thing that we should talk about here is the new player experience. Obviously, uh, a lot of developers and publishers recently have become phobic of players getting into their game, having a negative experience outside of the context of something they can control, like um, me saying something terrible to you mm-hmm. in general chat, and you see something, you're like, wow, I don't even want to play this game anymore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, a friend. But yeah. Let's talk about also the real world implications of a new player who is looking for a group, right? Now I have to pursue out of game avenues. And that is something that Bungie has no control over. They have no control over Reddit, message well, boards, uh, things like Discord. Stuff, yeah. So they, they should provide they've been largely, an avenue. I agree right. completely with what you're saying, the point that you're making that Bungie should be providing these tools. The community has kind of taken it upon themselves to build it yeah. for. Good. The, the uh, player base, but it's dim unfortunate and, that that's the case. Yeah, like transferring yeah. items, like all that stuff we've been asking for for years, but yeah. And I don't think guided games is the solution. Uh, I think it's an interesting proposition, and it's it's something cool that they are pursuing, but mm-hmm. it is very much let's keep it in our ecosystem and do it the way we want to do it, which is doing things like not enabling uh, this multitude of experiences. It's a very st- high bar. Like, I, I like it. I try yeah. to hop into a raid with guided games. Yeah. Sorry, friend. Well, it takes, it, meaning if you're going to do a guided game, you'll be fine. But if you're waiting, there's a wait time. But, Supposedly, it's very bad. But, but that's that what I think. Launched, you get dis- yeah, it's, yeah. I it's, it's still better. really long wait All time. Right. So, I mean, yeah. I didn't check in the recent days, but. Um, but I think the point is it needs to be stuff in the game. That's what we're getting at. From chat to the clan invites to invites to raids. Like you need more in chat because if you have to use Discord, it's like one more barrier, right? Um, and I think I agree with all that. It just would be very oh. nice, especially inviting people to like group up and play. Sure. The fact that those tool sets still are, you know, they're just not there yet. 
um, it's too bad. I think for the PC player base, Discord being a barrier, I think that's a little bit of a strong claim. I feel like it's so ingrained into the PC player base now mm -hmm. that it's just pretty right. It's like, like maybe, standard. It's like, do you have Discord? Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's Who like, doesn't? yeah, you're like, I'd rather use it. I don't want to use yeah. that yeah. function. Yeah. All right, let me provide a hypothetical to you where you're about to jump into a raid and your sixth member just can't do it. They have something come up and uh, now out of your ecosystem, nobody else is on clan and you're looking for one random player. That's Not an again. emergent experience. <laughs> sure. That's an emergent experience where uh, players who are just chilling in the, um, the social space at the right time could make an in with not just a single person, but a group, a clan, and then have a, a, a team to roll with through mm -hmm. all the game's content and maybe form some friends for life. Um, and You're describing guided games. I'm describing guided games, but yeah. like, who is going to do that? Who's like, okay, I guess we'll queue up as where I for can just be like, hour. enter, yeah. LF1M, Callus, uh, 280 plus gear score or so, so the yeah, traditional you can't, funny, experience you can't that we've seen in a lot of MMOs like World of Warcraft right. when somebody just goes in general chat like hey I'm looking for one more etc sure. etc. Do you think it's a moderation issue? Do you think it's just like look we have two million concurrents we do not have the manpower to moderate that kind of uh, activity? Yeah, I, I but I think you can solve for it. I mean like the most toxic game I've ever played is League of Legends to the point where it turned me off to the game and I could totally understand why you would just want not to do that with your game. So, but yeah. you have to understand. The context through which players are communicating. League of Legends incites this toxic behavior from the get-go with this, no, I should have played that character. I'm better than you with that character. <clears throat> Destiny is not a game like that. Destiny is not a game where you need to be filling a role that you were going to be much better at somebody else. And also, I think after you've done the raid a couple times, it's pretty easy to get through it. Titans. Sure. All, <laughs> titans, all striker titans all the time. Got a bubble. Uh, yep. But... <laughs> So I think that they could be using tools like you need to go into the settings and enable general chat. Mm -hmm. um, there are language barriers, right? There, mm -hmm. there are things that are identifying words yeah. that are inappropriate and not allowing you to say them or replacing them with asterisks. This is functionality that has been in games since the early 2000s, if not Definitely before. Blizzard games. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, so I think that there are these things that could help that endeavor. Obviously, manpower is still a factor for banning totally toxic players. Yeah. Um, but that that's a that's a crappy answer, dude. It's like why can't we have this core functionality? And the answer is oh, we don't want to hire more people or whatever. It's like yeah, come on. So uh, I I made yeah, a world yeah. funny story. Uh, I made a World of Warcraft character and I was trying to be cheeky, so I gave the character sort of a goofy name. And I was playing for five minutes before I got banned in World of Warcraft. <laughs> Uh, really? Not banned. They made me change the name. Wow. They thought it what was did you cute. say? It wasn't anything bad. I <laughs> no, you know, can't clearly. tell us. Should I You're just not say? Tell us now. All right. So it was a lady with horns on her head. So I call her Horny Lady. <laughs> sure. That's and funny. I thought it was funny. You and were making fun. I got of dumb the names. fact that she has horns yeah. on her head. Yeah. But and sure. anyway, yeah, that. That's the drainy, the really drainy, the drainy. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So I made that, and I got banned instantly in World of Warcraft. And if they're able to use their community mm -hmm. to detect I something know. as well, I thought it was I, fairly innocent. These, yeah. But if that's not what they want in their game, they identified <laughs> it immediately. I didn't get banned. They just said, "Hey, change your name. It's not appropriate." Yeah, right. And even, I, was, so I was like, "Okay." Yeah. But like, like that example is yeah. not. It's a good example, yeah. by the way. But it's also not even what we're talking about. It's like. I'm just trying to get people into a raid. Yeah. And like I have General to use a browser yeah. or I have to have already joined Discord groups or I have to have some community of people to reach out to, uh, post on a message board or whatever. Um, but I mean, most people do use the LFG websites. Yeah, LFG. I think that, I assume that's how most people are still doing it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, guided crazy. games I like as a tier, by the way. I do yeah. like, like if you sort of had, sure. think of your gold, silver and bronze yeah. experience. Yeah. Uh, that's like your gold experience probably and then hopefully the Q times come up but you're like it's gonna be good I'll just wait it out because it's gonna be awesome and I can I'm gonna win the raid probably like, or maybe maybe it's not because yeah. maybe you're you're one I'm being optimistic it's yeah. the gold experience <laughs> you're one guy disconnects platinum. and then you get like banned from I know I know right, let's just go, anyway a world where <laughs> things freaking work and people just are trust happy. your player base just at some once. point I think We've like been playing destiny so, for three years totally with LFG. Like, yeah we know it's <laughs> also it's also a conversation we keep going back to just yeah matchmaking struck a nerve Make here, it obviously yeah. <laughs> let me finish the point though which yes. is i i still think there's a lot of room for like yeah i don't know what the solution is in game but even as simple as just matchmaking like call it the bronze experience but it's like you show up in a waiting room with six people and that is the buffer that you all must agree 
Somebody may disconnect. This may not be the great experience, blah, blah, blah. but I'll agree to it. So if somebody bounces, like I, you can't blame yourself for being mad, but like, it seems to me that's one of the main things they're worried about. Like they send you in this complex raid and somebody leaves. But if I'm cool with that potentially happening, just let me play, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, it's yeah. nuts. Like I hop into Final Fantasy 14, for example, right? And I'm just like, I want to do this encounter. Oh, here's 14 groups looking for somebody. Uh, <laughs> no. Q, 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 I'm in one, let's go. Mm -hmm. And it happens yeah. so fast. Yeah, sure. You know? I, I think that you cannot uh, assume that your player base is not mentally savvy enough to handle things like choosing specific strikes, uh, distinguishing between different cues, having a fully flat, uh, fleshed out LFG system where you were doing things like score. Yeah. Things that are a little bit more intricate and complicated when you have systems as opaque as after 265, legendaries and blues have the same uh, level. Yeah, have the same like power, potential level, light well, power yeah. level, whatever. It's weird. That, it becomes totally opaque, and there are things that are opaque and and difficult to understand and incomprehensible. And yet, at the same time, there's there are things that feel like they tacked on these training wheels that prevent you or put you in the straitjacket that prevent you from getting the experience because they are afraid that you are going to somehow confuse yourself. The prime example I want to bring up here is Hearthstone. For the longest time, would not implement more than nine deck slots, and the. Mm -hmm. And there were all these things that were happening that were super well, complicated in the games. Really. <laughs> and uh, for the longest time, the excuses were afraid people are going to get confused. That was the running joke in the community. What? It's like, yeah. Oh, oh ten ten card, card deck. No. What do I do? <laughs> and I, I get that feeling here too. Uh, and Hearthstone, I think, is another good example because that's a game where you cannot chat with your opponent, which I think is a good thing because you are you are locked so into a twenty minute match. Right with this one person, and if they if that's toxic, they're toxic. That sucks. But yeah. mostly, I think. Uh, Destiny is a cooperative game uh, and, and has a lot of potential to make new friends. And that's the whole fantasy, right? That's what Deej was talking about in that post. And yeah. to, un to, to see that they are against general chat because a couple people might get their feelings hurt and need to be reported and eliminate, the, eliminate those players who are going to find other ways to be toxic, be it mm -hmm. on message boards or whatever, is... Uh, disappointing. But to be yeah. clear, they didn't say that's why. It's just not there, right? Meaning they no, didn't they, admit they did. it was because they said well, it was the toxicity and yeah. all that? I mean, it was very clear whether through, whether I'm paraphrasing or whatever, okay. that was the reason. Uh, but again, this is a subject yeah. that is open to player feedback. Mm -hmm. I think if the number one, well, I don't know. I think that if everybody is very vocal, the general chat needs to be in the game, they will reconsider. But uh, I, I also think this is indicative of some of the things that are happening in terms of the end game progression with these nebulous choices that are super simplistic that are actually, instead of giving you a clear path to progression, like being able to choose what iron banner armor you want, having to play this gambling thing where you're doing 34 and not getting a single piece of armor uh, leads yeah. to a worse experience that is more opaque. Than Ooh, there, oh, is, yeah. there, is a, there is a Destin, let's touch the bruise. We're I don't just, know if we're, we're getting just talking iron about, banner We're just right talking now. about... <laughs> Not how bad Iron Banner was. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, talking yeah. about <laughs> other stuff today. Uh, before we talk about some of the positive PC that, things that you have down here, like optimization Will we? and solid state drives, <laughs> I wanted to ask about the uh, the aim assist and stuff sure. like that because oh, yeah. you kind of touched on it. Yeah, we moved past that's a very quick. divisive subject that I'm actually on Bungie's side here. Yeah. Um, so what? Assist. That's one for you, Bungie. Whoa, Whoa. Yeah. apologist. Whoa. He did it. We, we <laughs> like the game. <laughs> so. Bungie apologist. Um, <laughs> Oh yeah, your check cleared. Dave. Your check cleared. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the internet said it cleared. <laughs> oh, so. I can buy my Ferrari. Great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So aim assist is unchanged oh, oh, since beta. Uh, it is not changed. They actually messed around with it. Didn't feel good. They brought it back. And I have to say, I agree here. I think in a general chat capacity where there's a lot of positives, you are uh, robbing from players because you're preventing a couple negatives. I think this aim assist thing is providing a lot of positives to controller users while not that many people are going to be using XIM, which is the main concern that, and I, I asked them point blank, um, how do you feel about XIM in a competitive, pass, uh, competitive capacity? Do you think Bungie can maintain a competitive edge with XIM? And if you don't know, XIM is this adapter that you can plug a keyboard in that basically registers it at a hardware level as a controller, therefore giving you the perks of a controller, which are aim assist. And the answer I got was, we did a lot of work, like I was talking about earlier, getting away from that lazy port of a controller over to a keyboard and mouse. Yeah. So when you plug in a keyboard and mouse as a controller, you get that bad experience, albeit with the bonus of aim assist. Mm -hmm. um, also, there is lower recoil if you, you are using a mouse and keyboard, and higher recoil if you were using a controller. Uh, so, so basically, if you yes. do do that, you almost will be at a disadvantage? No, because I think ultimately, <laughs> like, keyboard, even, even if it's kind of crappy ported keyboard uh, with an adapter, uh, mm -hmm. Keyboard and mouse with aim assist is very powerful. And if it becomes a rampant issue in 
um, Crucible. I could see them potentially disabling it in Crucible, but I, I am on their side when, uh, unlike Overwatch, which is at its heart a competitive multiplayer shooter first, this is a game that is dual-pronged with its PvP and PvE, and a lot of people from console are going to want to be coming over to play PvE yep. in a 60 FPS environment or higher, do the raid, do that kind of thing, mm -hmm. and, and to have to be unproficient with a mouse and keyboard, I feel for them. Yeah. Um, Thank I you. Thank you. Yeah, All right, so I know, no, he's so, talking about me directly. So you you like that it sports controllers, aim assist, and yeah. the keyboard and mouse feel good, right? So yeah. so yeah. And, and here's the thing. So you mentioned the word competitive, and this is where I think again comparing it to Overwatch or anything else. Destiny right now is like it's a competitive game from a standpoint of I'm competing with you, but it's not competitive. There are no private matches. So the word yeah. competitive right now I think is a bit of a confusing word to use with Destiny because it's not trying to be a competitive shooter per se at the moment. Where it's sort of trials. Again, it, you can't do it offline. It's on the server. Like right now, until private matches come along, I get what you're competitive, saying. Competitive, like as in they can't do a tournament easily. Right. They need True. bungee support, basically. Yes. Right. But I mean, I think that's the. It depends on what bothers you. Yeah. Like, I mean, if you lose trials because you feel like someone was cheating with uh, yeah. Zim there, then yeah, that, that would be that would be the go-to excuse. I yes, have a strong it won't be feeling. Be, yeah, that's XM. detectable. XM, yeah. Uh, well, it wasn't able to be detected during the Overwatch beta to the point where they had to remove aim assist entirely from controllers. I remember really? So I don't, if Blizzard can't figure it out, yeah, I don't know. All right. Yeah. And I'm glad, I'm glad it's there because it's interesting to hear you say that. I was the one who got flamed really hard saying, hey, I'm going to PC, I'm using a controller. Uh, but I'm still excited to do that. And uh, so which controller did you play with? Did you play with? Uh, it was the DualShock. The DualShock. The PS4 One and oh. Wow. All wow. right. Wow. Yeah. I was expecting That's an elite. Support. That's new yeah. support. But um, most... I play with Xbox. I was I was gonna say an Xbox <laughs> controller yeah, overall. An Xbox Elite yeah. controller. So to me, it so, felt wow. just like the console version. It's because of their partnership. 60 stuff. FPS. Right. That's yeah. awesome. And that was that was good cool. because on keyboard and mouse, it felt great. It felt like it was made for the PC. And then plugging in controller, it just felt like a console version. They would have been like, "Hey, FPS. we brought PS4 controller." They'd be like, "No, nah, I'm good, and I want to take it on my Elite <laughs> Xbox." And I, it in. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the thing. Like, I'm concerned about that competitive negative situation where it becomes rampant and it's a problem that you're losing in trials and you're like, clearly that dude had aim assist and was cheating the system, but yeah. with the benefit That'll become of the mouse the and keyboard. Yeah, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. As yeah, much as I'm worried about that, that, I think if you break it down into the percentages of people it affects and stuff, I think there's an argument to be made. Like, there's a lot of people who just want to play with the controller and get a great feel, and plenty of people who will play with a mouse and keyboard who aren't worried about those things. Yeah. So I think we've got to see how it plays out is my only point. I'm not saying <laughs> and purchased. <laughs> All right. Oh, you just yeah. spent $140. It's not sure like it's did. a $20 adapter, I'd like to point out. This is a significant investment for the average gamer. So and that's expense. what I'm saying. <laughs> for a feature. There yeah, you go. That's that's done. Yeah, we should. We but should, but yeah. to me, it's like if you're going to PC, though, you obviously want some of those details like uncapped frame rate and all that stuff. But you go in there expecting that the competition's going to be on key mouse and keyboard. Like, I'm not mm. going. Yeah, you already like, do. Hey, you know, you shouldn't be using a mouse so, and keyboard because I'm on a controller. Funny you say that. Because you can, I, in some, this some competitive factor, players use controller for in this different Battlefield right. One event. Types. Battlefield yeah. One is a game that allows both controller with aim assist and keyboard uh, and mouse. And I was in this uh, press event with a bunch of inf influencers, and I was getting, I was kicking butt, um, which feels really good when you're like a conventional press guy and you're in there with YouTubers <laughs> who are playing all the time. Yeah. And you're like, oh my god, I recognize your name, get wrecked. But <laughs> this one guy in particular just kept killing me, and I could not win a one v one. And at the end of the match, he went controller master race. Oh <laughs> yeah. What was he using? Was he hand he cannons or was he? No, this no, he's was playing battle game. This is battle. Oh, battle wait, battle he was on a controller. <laughs> yeah, at the That's event hilarious. or trolling. <laughs> at the event, yeah, he definitely could have been trolling, but I think he was serious because oh, he mentioned great. he was <laughs> controlling. <laughs> He was trolling. Oh, CJ, you're job. all good to that's go. I know terrible. CJ wants to be that guy, by the way. I will. He wants to prove to everyone controller. that he's going to be the best controller oh, player ever in Destiny. It. There were a couple folks at the event using controller in Crucible. Not a problem killing them, but that could be a skill thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and honestly, like, your control setup is super oh, important. Hurt? <laughs> <laughs> it's hard for me to do it. Your control yeah, setup is yeah. super important, but it in Destiny, especially trials, it is not the only thing that you need to worry about. Like, meaning yeah. team communication, your. You, do you have a Mida? You know, like these things are important. <laughs> call out. So like, <laughs> yeah. friend, like sweet call. MLG call outs uh, for me. So see how it plays out. I'm, do you I, have a res token? <laughs> I'm actually curious. You go, go around the table. Is Who is concerned about the XIM situation, knowing all these facts? Honestly, 
Not just sort of a yes or no. Sort of. Right I'm wishy washy on the answer, mm-hmm. to be to be frank, just because sure. I don't know how much of an impact it's going to have until we see launch. Okay. So it's, like, it could be a non-issue. That's right. Yeah. And you, to me, it's an issue if you're talking competitive matches offline, where you're in tournaments with the game being online and playing the way we play it. No, it's like you go into there knowing what it is. Duggan. Uh, I mean, I made my stance clear. I think it provides more benefits than it does detriments. But with that said, if it becomes an, uh, a big Big problem for the competitive community who are playing expressly PvP and take it very seriously. I would I would totally be on the side of let's take it out of Crucible. It's funny. I think we're all on the same page. I, that's what I was saying. Like, I'm concerned, but let's see how it plays out yeah. before, you know, we we freak out. And then then you wouldn't have some of these other benefits, like yeah. playing with a controller. I would like yeah. to try. Overwatch, they had to gut it out. We'll see what happens with Destiny. Because yeah. hand yeah. cannons right now, honestly, even in Destiny on console, it's a very big difference because there's lower aim assist. So if there was no aim assist on a controller with hand cannons, like, I already can't, yeah, like, yeah, I can't right. use them now <laughs> almost in Destiny 2. You're so <laughs> good on mouse and keyboard. <laughs> exactly. I don't know what it is, man. Actually, Everybody shoot says yourself that. in the face the recoils. So like, oh. But I've heard that. I've heard from mouse and keyboard users that they loved hand cannons on P- on PC, and I just don't understand what the difference is in that yeah. correlation. I wish I could, too, because I feel it doesn't, like, you can almost cross-map somebody yeah. and bring them down in two headshots. But see, body. like, is the range high? Like, I, you yeah, right. They, they, they confirm the tuning's the same. The tuning's I did not. I did not believe you, and then we... I watched the footage and I'm like, that's that's yeah. a lot of distance. I have to edit it in. <laughs> but like, yeah, if rate so of, let's stop <laughs> referencing yeah. specific shots. If rate of fire <laughs> and range has not changed, none of the tune, it yeah. does not make sense yeah. still. Other than we'll really being able to snap and aim very quickly. And, and actually what yeah. I would say is too. if you're on PC, right, couldn't can't you the recall is way less. So maybe that yeah. that might be it right there. That like and the lot. fact that you can react to recoil so much faster, right? Well, yeah. so the animation recoil is still nuts uh with the hand cannon. Yeah. Like you are losing the aim down sights a bit, but, but you, you can adjust. Thing. But you basically you don't feel. You just feel the center of your screen. By the way, the reti- uh, another very important distinction: the reticle is just dead center in the screen all the time for PC, unless you plug a controller in. Hmm. And that gotcha. I think is one of the reasons why it feels better. But anyway, hmm. um, with the hand cannon, you just get to the sweet spot where you know where it's going to right where it's going to be. You even yeah. pull the yeah. trigger. Yeah, so I think that it's very easy to execute. Yeah, that. easier to predict that that so, landing spot. And bl- we've before talked- you go on Bloom, yeah. that's another thing because Bloom is in the oh, game boy. when you jump and do all that stuff. So those are undetectable stats that you're, it's hard to quantify. So that's why with it changing between mouse and keyboard and controller, yeah, I, I wonder how those little details affect how it is. Yeah. This episode is coming out on a Monday. We're going to have access shortly. We can dissect this and yeah. talk about it on the show after we've all had some time time together. Uh, we've, we've been talking about a lot of the stuff that we're concerned about on PC, but I yeah. wanted to reiterate some of the reiterate some of the cool stuff. Uh, you also talked about how fast it loads on an SSD. Yeah, it's disgusting. Like, it's there's like hardly really- time if you're just going to a social space for your ship to appear in orbit before it's already... Wow. Whoosh, Wow. Um, and I'm very excited for that. I'm going to be loading it up on an SSD. Uh, and mm-hmm. even for the big stuff like Nessus, it is a hugely significant load. Uh, SSD. Yeah, <laughs> Nessus. Oh, I wonder how oh, two for two today. <laughs> I wonder yes, how landing dear. at the tower is going to go on PC. Hopefully flawless. <laughs> you would assume flawless. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's really cool. Flawless. I mean, you. it's funny that they kind of have improved load times with changing orbit, but I'm mm. pretty excited by that. That's good, man. Yeah. Just think of all the time there we for spent. so long. Yeah. Yeah. So what would all you, right, the mission's starting. Like, if Fly you in. go from the tower to straight to Nessus, like, if you had to estimate, how fast does that feel to you? Uh, so once you get into the atmosphere, I think that's maybe 15 seconds or wow. less. Uh, and then going from Nessus to the tower is like... Um, Pouring well, up, atmosphere, and then straight into it. Like we will like make that comparison seconds. video to reference yeah. that. I'm just so. going to be like, oh, come out, you better have an SSD. <laughs> yeah. We'll make <laughs> One the of comparison my friends on PC. Else. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, yeah, uh, general optimization. Uh, it sounds like it's fantastic. Yes. Yeah, we talked a lot about that. There's uh, a very built out menu system. Um, and. Uh, I, I again, actually, one of the biggest takeaways for me was the VSync, how great it felt, yeah. how uh, low latency and, and input delay it felt. Just how, I'm, I'm probably going to play it locked 60 with VSync because yeah. it looks and feels really good. And you can do that at 4K um, if you choose to. Yeah, everything yeah, I captured was in 4K yeah. 60 or, or higher FPS. And again, the way that you enable the higher FPS is by turning VSync off completely, which just uncaps the frame rate. Yeah. But another really cool thing is you can actually go into the configuration file and set a hard limiter or, or uh, that's cool. Or 
the FPS. 24. So if you're somebody who has one of those mid-range PCs where you're like drifting between 40 and 60 yeah. and it just bothers you and you would just prefer it at a steady 45. Oh, I didn't even think about that. that. Like nice. if you're only getting, say, around 45 and you want it, you could you just keep want it, it from locked. dropping like, up. Right. And down. I would rather have Lock consistent 35 or whatever FPS. That's something you can do. I like uh, it. That's cool. We can make that it that's that. great. Because frame rate variation, uh, I think, is one of the biggest things you want to avoid. Yeah. Like, I, it's, I, like, I don't want to play at 30, but there's nothing worse than it's you're at 30 and then it's bouncing up and down. Like, yeah. it just starts to annoy you. So that's a cool feature. Let's yeah. lock it at 60. Uh, frame, the cutscenes, I don't hardware. know if we talked about this. Cutscenes are locked at 30, literally unplayable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care at all. For cinematic, that's good. Uh, luckily, there is that skip button. Yeah, we man. knew that. We knew watch, that. Already. Oh, 30. I didn't watch a single. Get uh, out of here. Actually, I had asked this, and okay. I don't know if Terrible. you noticed or confirmed, but are the cutscenes at a higher resolution or bit rate? That's a good are question. They, very they high seemed quality? lower quality than the actual game, mm -hmm. so I would imagine they're the same. Well, all right, we'll check, because last time they're, I they're asked. They're probably 4K 30. Are they 4K res, well, though? whatever they were on PS4. I mean, they were like 1080p or whatever, so um, it's, we'll, we'll really? find out. But, Beanie, that was an important question, like, as you translate. But they put the film grain like, on it, so. Yeah, so we'll see. When I asked them last, they said, I believe it was Dan Shaw. He's like, I know the answer to that, and I can't tell you. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Maybe they're it sounded exciting. difficult to tell. It was certainly lower quality than the actual game. Um, maybe that was just the 30 FPS. Lower quality than the PC version of the game. You're, yeah, the yeah, way yeah. You're, you're phrasing I don't, it. It's I don't not in 4K to, from the sound of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Most let's, let's take a look. don't look better than the game running on. Uh, maybe this is just a PC thing. Yeah. Too, Again, know. we should just close. Like, this episode's PC, happening like... PC guys, am I right, yeah. listeners? <laughs> this episode is happening on the heels of the release. We'll have answered half of this stuff the, within the 24 yeah. hours. Half the things we've said are wrong. No, hopefully not that. That is not the case. Just what Doug said. Another interesting thing to think about from a competitive standpoint and a weapon balance standpoint, I do think of Eventually, they will have to start balancing weapons uh, expressly for the PC environment and the console environment that separately. Would be interesting. Now, did you say that you yes. asked them that question? Yeah, and they, they said, already right confirmed. Now, they right were, now, no, yeah. they were open to that. They already confirmed they were sure. open to that. I but remember. They did say what they did say that I thought was very reassuring was originally that was not technically possible, but we did work to make sure it now is. So if mm, they decide cool. to go down that route, that's something they can do. And the reason why that would be an issue is because things like recoil uh, and the hidden aim assist stat that are right. different on different oh. weapons that people prefer over their like competitors, like the 450 uh, ARs for Crucible, why this one is better than that one, um, that could change on PC because you're not concerned about aim assist if you're on unassisted mouse and keyboard, and recoil is not as bad. I was just thinking about, I, did you get to use Last Hope? At no, all? everybody wants Dang. it. Dang, yeah. that is, I, I want to know with the recoil and everything, yeah. if it, that thing wrecks even more, man. Sure, I feel does. like recoil was most noticeable on... You did have books. a sidearm, yeah, I believe, in your footage. I don't know if it was Last Hope, though. It was a three-bird Again, product. a question we'll answer. Well, yeah, and what will be interesting to see if everything right now is equal across the board, does a new <clears throat> meta emerge on yes. PC that's totally different yeah. than yeah. on Tank I think it will. Yeah. yeah. Uh, That'd I'd be, be cool. I'd be very surprised. It wasn't hand cannons, yeah. but hey, yeah. look, it'll maybe it'll still be Mida. Who knows? I would get your Mida. I would put my money on on hand cannons personally. Yeah, that is that is That's about everything that we yeah. want to cover for the pre PC launch of Destiny Two. Thank you so much, Duggan, for uh, going to the event, putting out uh, your preview. You're gonna yes. have a preview out and a bunch up. of videos that people can watch and see for yourself. My pleasure. Of course, thank you for watching the show. Anything else we want to talk about before we head out? I just can't wait to see a lot of the stuff you know in. It's just this quality. Like you've oh. seen, you didn't get to see it all, right? You didn't get to raid. No, did you? it looks very. I can't wait to see the raid. I uh, yeah, I was yeah. trying to do a very elite run through of um, the Pyramidian, so I could post Such it a on. Cool I could post it on YouTube, and people will be like, "Who is this guy playing? He's good." Blah blah blah. But I just got <laughs> distracted by likely. the skybox because it looked yeah. so yeah. beautiful in 4K, uncapped frame rate or 60 or whatever. I was like, "Show me." It looked up, and yeah, like you can it, see. The I do it like three or four or, more times because yeah. I just can't get enough. of it. I mean, yeah, it, it it really is one of the best looking PC games out there. Yeah, it really is. Sure. Right, yeah, it looks very good. I don't. Yeah. I'd have to. I know that's a big qualifier, but when you think like. Roughly speaking, it's pretty. It looks really good. Their it's, art is pretty awesome. Yeah. So it is crazy. acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> What'll be cool yeah. is if it, the raid eventually ends up turning into one of these places that you visited before. That often has happened where you see the opening to the raid and you're like, oh, I've been here. And then it, it happens later on. This time it was, oh. you, you flew over to, um, you know, right. to the, yeah, Leviathan. You're off on a completely different planet. You know, they've always had before where it's like, oh, this is the opening on Venus. So this yeah. is, you know, the That reminded me of something that we should very briefly touch on, which is the release cadence. Uh, this is a very important detail that I can't believe I didn't write down, but uh, they Good confirmed. Safe. They confirmed when the raid's coming. When the raid is coming for PC, it will be launching at 
approximately the same interval the console received oh. for the initial launch. So it's not all going to be there. Like, I'm not going to be able to go in day one. Do everything. They, they didn't want a scenario where... They put it in their PC release trailer. That's kind of messed up. Well, I don't think so. Because the, the reasoning for that was we don't want it to be who can grind the fastest to the raid and do Why it not? sleeping. <laughs> I know. That's traditional. Yeah. That would be a great yeah. PC, like... Start because that's yeah. how treating them go. as brand new players. To be fair, right, right. But conversely to that, <clears throat> uh, DLC drops from that point onwards after they've gotten that initial buffer zone will be day of on console and PC at the same. That's gotcha. that's good. Okay. So I don't know why they made a decision to stagger it out just so people don't I kill do, themselves. Dude, I don't want to. I don't want to stay up for ninety six hours to yeah. raid first. Like yeah. screw that. Yeah. Well, I don't have do a that good time. <laughs> but, but I have yeah. to if they. <laughs> but you need the night I have to try. No, that's yeah. good though because I think it gives people like a start date. It's the roadmap. Everybody wants Fine. it ahead of time. You know that that's Fine. Positive, Bungie's I great. And I no. I agree <laughs> with all their no, decisions. No. Well, you think that, that if you if they released everything and be like, okay, here you go. It's like trials and the raid and everything day one. That would be fun. I would I would really like a plan with my friends. Like hey. Let's no. shoot for Friday. Let's get a I don't think there's a right or wrong seven. on that one. Like it, yeah. like I it, don't know. I what? remember complaining. I didn't want everything on day one. It's just too much. Now it's a little different because I've already yeah. played it. But imagine being in the situation again. You've been waiting for Destiny 2. Yeah. And I just made all, everybody's flying by you and doing stuff and you feel pressured to stay up for 96 hours. Meaning I don't think it's fair to those people so who want the, the team pace. disparity. Yeah, yeah like I was 100%. flashback smash cut to me saying, why are they releasing trials oh, so soon and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. Like I think to be fair to the audience that has been waiting, I think that's totally a fine plan. Plus, there's the services. Like, they have to keep all the servers up and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So I don't know if it's realistic to launch, like, everything no. moment one. That's good. To Hard me, it's raid, like, whatever, you know, it's yeah. a lot. I would not be saying, hey, let's attempt a world's first on a raid. Like, I actually now, knowing that, would like to, oh, I beat you, Destin. It's okay. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> thinks Bungie's perfect. No. I'm they made saying, all the right decisions. At least with this, I'm glad that everything's not launching day one, the day the game comes out on PC. I, I, I wanted it day one. No. Did you really? I wanted to stay up. No. Okay. Go <laughs> well, I mean, kind of. I, I would have liked the option to go into the raid. When I saw it in the trailer, I was like, really? oh, cool. You I will. can go into the raid. Like a week later, dude. Get there. Yes. I just don't <laughs> wanna... Yeah. It's like, if you know, it's like many, two you know how many right. people would die? I was going to say, we <laughs> want you That's alive. <laughs> yeah. uh, one final All detail press good press, right? <laughs> for anybody who's watching this and thinking, man, I want to get in on the PC version. Please don't die playing Destiny. <laughs> I asked them about transferring characters over from the mm. console. Uh, and they no. said they got asked about it a lot. And um, Shaw's answer was, we have nothing to announce at this time, but it's something Dude. that I would love to see in the game. Yeah. However, yeah. counterpoint, uh, my preface was like, as somebody who's PC, uh, both politically co correct and plays on a PC, a personal computer, uh, I, I, want some, I want a situation where I'm coming into a game fresh uh, and I don't have to see somebody with an emblem that I can ever get. Mm. Um, All right. But that's just me. I think again, that's one of those trade-off situations where how'd you get it? I well, was there. I was there. Yeah. Launch Destiny. You don't like that? Thirty FPS. No, I don't like yeah. that. You don't like the sweet beta emblem that I got. I love the sweet beta. Like, <laughs> I want to quit that. I'm stuff. just kidding. I do. Um, Maybe five. People I would, know. man. But uh, I'm all about that, like OCD well, completionist stuff, yeah. and and the idea that it's... oh, I know, I made a spreadsheet. I, I just, I just don't <laughs> I like when. Uh, there would be something that is coming to a platform that this is my start time and this is starting fresh and somebody else has something. Obviously, that, I think fair, that's a, yeah. a small price to pay for people. Yeah, I like to be rewarded for those that, things. And this it is a big you. topic, guys. So. <laughs> I don't feel like we can do it justice today, so let's save it sure. for another show. We okay. can revisit it. Fine. Yeah. Post <laughs> uh, the show. Yeah. Your decision. Uh, we got to wrap it up. We're <laughs> over on time, but uh, thank you so much again, Duggan, for stopping by the show. And uh, thank you guys for being on. No problem. Thank Thanks, PC Doug. Your handsome self. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. So that's it for this episode. Until next time, everybody. Guardians, Guardians out. out. For real, though, PC looks fantastic. Guys, I hope you like this Monday episode of Fireteam Chat. We normally air Fridays at 5. If you want to know when our episode goes live, hit that subscribe button over here. Or you can check out our playlist of all the episodes of Fireteam Chat.